Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So for today, I decided to do a get ready with me. It's a tad bit chitty chatty, so I'll be sharing with you the update on my eye. But also for today's video, I'll be using makeup that I already own. So it's a, basically a full face of using old makeup products, not my Project Pan items. If you want to see me doing a full face with Project Pan, I can go ahead and link that in the cards. But if you just want an easy chitty check, get ready with me video today, then go ahead and keep watching. Again, thank you for being here. Alright, so for today, for my primer, I'm going to start out with the Glossier Future Dew. I love this stuff. It's been on a back burner for me because I'm doing some Project Pans, but I will be gladly using this today as a primer. And you can just see like how well this makes your skin look hydrated. If you have not checked into this product yet or Glossier in general, I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. Their stuff is like really good. All right, and then for foundation today, actually let me do concealer first. So, where's the concealer that I grabbed? Okay, so this is the Revolution Makeup Conceal and Define and Concealer in the shade C3. So I'm a little bit nasally today, so I apologize. But I am putting on my makeup blind today because I still cannot wear contacts. I'm not able to wear them for about another week. And so I did end up going to the doctor over my eye to see what was the issue with that. Um, considering to me it didn't look like it was clearing up any. So this one day I had to take off work and this one day I spent literally the whole day at doctor's offices at appointments to make sure that there was not an emergency with my eye. So it turns out what's wrong with my eye is that my eye has cysts in it. And that sounds crazy, but I guess it's really not that crazy or that big of an issue because they didn't really seem all that concerned about it. And she told me that it'll probably the, the cysts will probably resolve or dissolve themselves or whatever um, in probably maybe a week. So I don't have to keep my follow-up appointment if that happens. And so makeup is fine for me to wear, she said, but she would just recommend not wearing contacts for roughly about another week. So there's actually no cuts or scratches on my eye and there's actually nothing in my eye which makes sense because I had no idea how anything would have gotten into my eye unless it was like makeup debris or something like that. And so for foundation, I am using the L'Oreal True Match foundation in the shade Classic Ivory. However, if you were unfamiliar with eye cysts or how you get cysts in your eye like I was, apparently you can get them or they can develop for different reasons. So one reason is going to be like dry eye. If you have dry eye, you can your eye can develop cysts. If you wear contacts, if your contacts don't fit right or they stay dried out or whatever, you can develop cysts like that also. Or if you just struggle like putting them in and out and you wear them frequently, um, just messing with your eye can cause them to develop cysts. Also, apparently allergies can as well. But I've, I've had allergies previously and I've never had any like major issues. Just your basic like nasal congestion, maybe some watery eyes and stuff like that. So this whole eye cyst situation is new to me. So I'm just chalking it up as like issues with my contacts. So she did say that in the future, if I were to have any further issues with cysts, she said to definitely come in, but generally, um, if it's due to something like allergies or dry eye or contact issues, 
if you handle that situation, then the cysts will resolve on their own. However, if you do get eye cysts, but they won't go away on their own for some reason, you will have to go in and let them, like, remove them. Uh, so that's what this follow-up appointment will be if my eyes get worse or whatever. But my eyes seem to be doing fine. They don't feel dry. They don't feel irritated anymore. There is still, like blood spots in there which she said is from broken blood vessels where the cysts like push on like I guess the surface of your eye or whatever and can basically break blood vessels that way which I guess is not really a big deal so those that will resolve on its own as well I guess so anyway the main point is I'm glad it's nothing majorly serious um, and that more than likely this is going to resolve on its own and um, I'll be able to wear contacts again in about a week. I'll still be a little bit nervous about wearing contacts because I feel like it's it was my contacts that created this problem for me, but I got to be able to see, you know what I mean? My face looks super pale and white right now. <laughs> that looks so crazy. So for powder, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And that is going to set my whole face. So yeah, if you see my last video where I was talking about my eye, um, I was kind of freaked out because I thought that maybe it was definitely like a cut with something in it. Um, that's what everybody else I let look at it said it looks like and they're like urging me to go to the doctor but my eye didn't hurt really like super bad or anything like that. But anyway I'm glad I went that way I can you know I know now like what the situation was with my eye and that my eye will not be falling out or anything like that. That's great. Great news. <laughs> Then, moving on into bronzer, I'll be using a mini size of the Becca Sunlight Bronzer in Capri Coast. So, I mean, it just looks like this. Feels so strange not using my Project Pan items, but it's also a, a breath of fresh air to use some other stuff that's in my collection. So this is always fun. I know people like to watch videos where people are actually using product that they already have and not always like new stuff. So. This is a little warm for me, but that's why I'm glad I have. Just a sample size. And for blush today, I'll be using a Moira blush. This is in the shade Sweet Peach. And I've been using these blushes exclusively for like at least last month this one my lighting's off today but it looks like this so it's just a nice peachy shade and what I do in general is I just tap my brush into the center usually and then apply that so these are nice like soft easy blushes to work with and to use and they literally last all day long. Alright, and then are we ready for a highlight? So today I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlight. I have not used this in so long, but I mean it just looks like that right there. I'm going to go in heavy with this dude. So how has everybody's day, week, month been going? We are about to go on like a three day camping trip. It should be fun. The kids are super excited about it. As am I because I'm finally taking time out of work that isn't for important stuff like doctor's appointments and stuff. So that's always a plus. I've also been watching the show, the show Lucifer on Netflix. I think I'm behind on that. So I think everybody else has already been watching it or has watched it. 
It's actually pretty good. I really like it. My grandma's one that got me into watching it, actually. But I've been watching that. I've been enjoying that. So if you do watch that show, let me know what you think. And um, if there's any other shows on Netflix that you think is super good, drop those in the comments because every once in a while I do like to find a nice show to watch. So when I am bored with like makeup content on YouTube, I can watch something on Netflix. Okay, so I feel like we're moving through this really quickly, probably because I'm excited to use different makeup. Um, but for eyeshadow today, but for eyeshadow today, I'll be using the Lorac Beauty in the Beast palette right here. This is old, an old guy. He's just been sitting in my makeup collection forever. So I figured I would pull out an old palette to use. So the inside, the color store and everything looks like that. Really pretty. I don't know exactly what I'll be doing yet, but we'll see. So I think what I want to do is take the shade Look Beyond, which is just a, a tan, like a medium tan shade, and put that in my crease. Ever so slightly and just blend that out. Like I said, due to me not wearing contacts, this will probably be a messy eye look, but it'll be okay. And then I think I'm going to go in with the shade Our, Our Guest, which is like a, a blue-gray, a gray-blue. And possibly just put this on the outer corner into the crease just to deepen up that area. And then I'm going to try the shade Beast Mode, which is like a matte navy blue. Right there, look at that. This is such a crazy idea considering I cannot see. Should have done this on a day where I could wear contacts. But I'm just gonna try to produce a wing of sorts. But this is what we're here for, Train Wreck Station. This is why I titled my channel A Makeup Mess because I never claimed to be perfect or good at makeup. I just like playing with it. There's a wing. Hey, homie. There's a wing from a chick who can't see. This one. Oh, this one's. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. I should have done my eyes first. Should have done the eyes first. I mean, either one would be fine. It's just that they're not even. Seriously, I can't do any better than this. Oh, I know because I just filled that in and I'm not even in frame. Anyway, that's my life right there, okay? In a nutshell. All right, moving right along. Then I'm going to use the shade Timekeeper, which is just this nice champagne. Love this shade right here. I'm going to apply that to the lid. What kind of music do you all listen to? Do, do you have any like newer songs that you're enjoying here recently? So if you just drop it in the comments what type of music you listen to and if there's any newer songs that you've been enjoying. So maybe I can listen to some new music as well. Um, so I think I'm going to take Tea Time which is just a more white champagne color and use that for highlighting purposes. And then I'm going to take the black shimmer in the palette, it's called Swept Up, and just run that down my lower lash line. And then we can go in with lips and for today I'll be using the Too Faced Melted Matte Lip in the shade Queen Bee. Oh 
So it's kind of like a dusty pink. 